Hey Aquarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and see what's happening for you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. If it resonates, it won't resonate for everybody. It just won't. It just can't, right? Um, if you want a personal love reading, the link is in the description box. You know that. And you can also go to my Etsy shop. I have my personal readings there, my tarot, my oracle decks. Oh, and a quick announcement. Uh, my Teach Me Tarot deck is on sale again, 15% off. I know a few of you guys missed it and I felt really bad. So it is available 15% off my Etsy shop. Okay, right now. I think I'll have it till like July 4th. I'll give you guys some more time. And um, yeah, it's great for those of you guys who want to learn tarot, right? It has the upright and reverse meanings. It's great as reference cards. It's great to use in your tarot readings on you, your family, your friends, your YouTube channel. Okay. All right, let's jump right in, Aquarius. Let's see what's happening. What's happening? All right, Aquarius. Aquarius in love, please. What's going on, my Aquarius out there? Clear messages. Clear messages here for Aquarius. All right, clear messages for Aquarius. What do they need to know about their love life? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? All right, there's a lot of thinking, reflecting right now, okay? I'm, I do feel a lot of you guys, Aquarius, the challenge is to perhaps get some kind of commitment from someone, or maybe you guys um, felt falling out of a commitment. Um, for the majority of you guys, maybe you are seeking a commitment from someone. Her find is reversed with the Queen of Pentacles. So the challenge is to perhaps get someone to look at you as wife, husband material for them to move forward with you in a very secure, stable manner. And I'm seeing a lot of you guys, there's a lot of reflecting on something that didn't work out. Okay, something fell through the cracks, something wasn't able to manifest. It's like you invested your time, your energy, your love, your loyalty into something and it just didn't move forward. Okay, nothing came of it. So this could be someone who's doing a lot of thinking, reflecting about you as well. But it definitely is telling me that there was a challenge in getting this person to commit or moving forward in a very stable, committed partnership. Ace of Swords came out in the verse in the past. So Aquarius, there's someone here that maybe you've had a fallen out with. Maybe you guys are not communicating very well. This is someone who could have stopped communicating with you. I'm getting someone felt rejected by the other person, okay? Maybe someone pushed you away, Aquarius, or this person felt pushed away by you. Take it how it resonates. Feel free to switch the roles. But there was some kind of ending in the past with the death card. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. And I'm also getting with the Four Cups, there's been some kind of missed opportunity that someone didn't want, okay? And I'm also getting that this is someone who may not be saying it either, like, they feel like they've lost their chance with you because there was an ending. But a lot of you guys, this ending had to happen. It had to take place, okay? There's some kind of change, transformation taking place. And the communication is bad. So whoever this is, Aquarius, this could be someone who just doesn't communicate well at all. Maybe this person's been keeping you stuck, the hangman, Piscean energy. Yeah. There's some stress because a lot of you guys, you haven't been able to talk it through with this person. You haven't heard from this person. Um, you're guarded. They're guarded. There's definitely a lot of closed off energy. Aquarius, you have your defenses up. Okay, a lot of you guys, you're blocking this person out. It's like if they were to come towards you, you wouldn't even hear them. Okay, you wouldn't even see them. You're kind of like, leave me alone. A lot of you guys, you may have told this person to don't call me. Your, your door is locked. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting a lot of you guys, you're just like, don't, don't do it. Don't you come near me. And that Four of Swords is really about taking some time to yourself. Aquarius, maybe you guys are resting, regrouping, recuperating. Maybe you feel like you just want peace of mind. That could be like your goal right now. And in the Hangman energy, that's a spiritual card. So a lot of you guys, you're just kind of... You're kind of assessing things. You're looking at things through different pair of lens, different perspective. Maybe there's something that you didn't see before. Maybe you guys are doing a lot of um, learning about yourself, your spirituality. Your person's energy is a three of swords, so someone's heartbroken. Someone is hurt. Someone's overcoming some kind of hurt or separation. 
between you and them, Aquarius. We have the Six of Swords. So on their mind is wanting to go into calmer waters with you, wanting to make peace with the past. Let's overcome whatever happened. Any drama, any conflict, any challenges, let's let it go. Um, five of Cups, regrets, remorse. So whatever happened in the past, this person has been really living it. Okay, I'm getting really feeling it, living it day in and day out. This is someone who really feels bad for something they could have done, they could have said to you, Aquarius. They haven't been able to really move on. All right, that's what they're being challenged to, but they can't. A lot of you guys, there's a lot of sadness. They do miss you and they do want to communicate. Eight of Wands is here. So this is someone who does want to reach out with some kind of fast communication. Eight of Wands is, could be love arrows, right? It could be some kind of communication coming on, coming through uh, online. It could be like sending a DM, text message, a phone call. But this is what their goal is, right? On their mind is healing from something here, making peace, right? Coming to some kind of resolution here with you. We have the Nine of Cups in reverse, so we know that's them, right? They're not happy. They're not fulfilled. They're not happy because they do want some kind of relationship or partnership with you. They do look at you as someone like you were their companion. You were someone that perhaps they relied on, maybe too much, okay? Some of you guys, it could have been some money or, you know, codependencies here with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. But this is also someone, Aquarius, who feels like they don't have enough, okay? They're in a place of lack. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, both come in reverse. They're in a place of lack without you in their life. And they're really at odds. They're really at a loss right now. Um, the Fool card is here in reverse. A lot of you guys, they feel lost because... And very conflicted because I'm seeing that they do want to move forward with you, but they also know that you're hesitant, that you're re reluctant to even consider that. They see you as not really wanting that, okay? They look at you as, you know, like that's that's a stretch. There's no way the person would go back to that situation. So they're definitely still overcoming some kind of hurt, separation, three of swords. Definitely could have been someone who perhaps wasn't ready to commit to you at the time, but the challenge is to get to some kind of commit with the queen of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting about you, thinking about what you guys had in the past, a lot of memories, thoughts, five of cups. What else do we need to know? The current energy. If this resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, we have the hangman, the hanged unicorn, <laughs> Piscean energy. You both are doing a lot of thinking, seven of swords, some self-sabotage, definitely some negative thinking going around, you know, thinking about something in the past, wasn't able to move forward, ace of wands in reverse. Your person is really, um, they're kind of stuck, I'm saying. I'm, they're, they're in this place of feeling stuck because something has not been able to get off the ground with you. They may feel like you're not passionate about them, you don't care about them. You're not interested in them anymore. And there's the energy of them trying to strategize with the Seven of Swords. Maybe they did something here where you don't trust them. In the past, we have an ending, the death, four cups. The judgment in reverse with the world. So your person's realizing that they made a bad decision. Right? The world. Lessons. Karma. Yeah, there's some lessons here. Your person's realizing after the fact that they made a poor decision about you. The judgment in reverse, they made bad decisions or a bad judgment call about you. Maybe they, they weren't really willing to speak their truth. They were holding back. There could have been some lies. This is someone who perhaps wished they apologized for something here as well. Page of Cups. Okay? Someone held back their love. Someone could have been very emotionally closed off as well or unwilling to open up on the emotional level. Now, a lot of you guys, Aquarius, you're stuck too. You're in a hangman. Okay? Four wands. There's some imbalance in your life because of this breakup or ending between your, you and your person or separation. Some of you guys maybe had a home situation of family children there's a lot of stress here with sister seven of pentacles reflecting you guys are both doing a lot of thinking about each other like simultaneously you guys are like mirroring each other all right but i do see you're closed off page of wands and verse four pentacles you're closed off i don't see you really initiating anything with this person i don't see them um i see them wanting to communicate we'll see if i actually will but i see that you guys have given up on that page of wands i'm just not interested been there, done that, you're closed off, you're not really open to what this person has to say. So why is this person with the three of swords? They're heartbroken because the lovers came out in the verse, because they perhaps made a wrong decision about you. They made a decision, someone made a decision, be done with the Gemini, and it was the wrong decision. That's why they're heartbroken. May pick someone else over you. Why do they want to go into calmer waters now? Because they missed their six of cups, they missed their person, they missed their soulmate. Right? Because there's a lot of memories and they feel like they let you down. They let their special person down. Six of Cups in reverse. There's some negative memories of the past. Five of Cups. They can't get over the guilt. 
the regrets of doing something, okay? Something that they've done that hurt you. And they're reliving it day in and day out. Queen of Pentacles came out in the verse. They didn't give you the commitment. They weren't loyal to you. They weren't faithful, right? They regret not committing to you is what I'm seeing for some of you guys. They regret not committing to you or they regret not, um, not withholding or holding up the commitment to you. All right? Maybe they stepped out of a commitment. Now, what do they want to communicate about? The high priestess or some kind of secret, something that they've been holding back. Ace of Cups. Oh, damn. So they want to communicate to you. High priestess, they've been holding this back. Okay? Piscean energy. They want to communicate that they want this new beginning. This is communication coming in. That's how they want to move forward. Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. You can't make this up. They want to offer you a new beginning. This is someone who does have a lot of love for you and they're keeping it to themselves. Keeping it a secret. They're not revealing it just yet. The high priestess is here, but they do want a new beginning. They want to flow their love, blow all that water. All that water is all emotions, feelings, tears. I love you, Aquarius. Let's see what the outcome looks like. <laughs> Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups with the Page of Swords. Some of you guys, their person is willing to walk away from another situation. Maybe they didn't tell you about, okay? Um, some of you guys, you are walking away. Some of you guys, you're just not happy. There's the energy of walking away and not communicating. Um, Four of Cups, someone isn't interested. I hate to say it. Someone is not interested in what's being offered. The Four of Cups is here. This could be you, Aquarius, okay? This could be your energy. I don't care what's in the cup. I'm not even looking at it. What kind of cup is that anyway? I deserve a glass cup i don't need no damn plastic cup <laughs> someone is rejecting the offer is what i'm saying someone's like that's not good enough come in harder come in stronger <laughs> maybe i'll look at you all right aquarius that's what i have for you guys got a good laugh today i hope you did too happy friday y'all I'm going to get a few cards from the Hearts of Love Oracle and see what else we need to know about your person. What are some things they want to say? Some love messages, okay? This is one of my decks on my Etsy shop. Let's see. Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. What is going on with your person? Messages. You're the only one that makes my heart beat. Maybe you guys didn't know that because they're keeping things a secret. They're keeping this Ace of Cups a secret. So a lot of you guys, you didn't know that their heart beats for you. Right? Thinking about you day in and day out. Your heart your heart beats for you. I was robbed of love growing up. Some of you guys, they couldn't love you the way you need them to love you because they didn't experience the love growing up. Childhood. Could have been some childhood trauma for them. Or they just weren't in a, in a family or they didn't have parents who really loved them or really showed them the affection that they needed. My heart aches and there is no cure. See, their heart aches for you. It's hurting. Okay, they feel the absence of you and there's no cure because you're the cure. You're their medicine, right? All right, let's see what else we need to know. The person, my heart was rock solid and stiff. So a lot of you guys, they were closed off to love. They weren't open. They weren't vulnerable. So they couldn't love you because they were just cold, right? Let's get one more card. You have a good heart. It's pure and innocent. So they think very highly of you. Right, you have a good heart, you have a beautiful face. I'm kidding. <laughs> They're just talking about your heart. You have a good heart, it's very pure, it's genuine. Okay, you guys are real. All right, Aquarius, that's all you guys can leave now. <laughs> that's what I have for you guys. If you um resonate with this reading, do show me some love, I appreciate it all so greatly. Send you my love and my blessings back. You guys have a great weekend. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Again, my Teach Me Tarot deck, I am bringing it back. 15% off if you guys are interested in learning tarot. This is your time. The deck is great um, because, well, it's something tangible, right? You have it in your hand, put on your, your dresser, you're going to sleep, you can look over the cards, see the meanings. Greatest flashcards, great in your tarot readings, okay? All right, Aquarius, take care. Bye.